Uh, welcome to the first Give Me Five. So, a lot of you already know, yesterday I finished uh, four miles every four hours, 48 hours. Talk a little bit about it later, but um, when you're you know, running and working out, you have a lot of time to kind of think about things. And I want to talk to you guys today about opportunity. And the biggest quote that stands in my mind is from Herb Brooks. Um, he was a coach of the 1980 U.S. national hockey team in the Disney movie Miracle. Um, and when he gives him the speech in a locker room, he says, great moments are born from great opportunity. And that's what you have here tonight. So much of that quote is at the very end for me where it hits it in the heart and he says, and that's what you've earned here tonight. And opportunity is a funny thing because I told whether it's members I coach or kids I've coached um, at the varsity level of soccer, I always tell them, and this is from just past experience, you always wanna stay ready so you don't have to get ready. Because when your opportunity comes, you wanna be ready. Because having the regret of the opportunity coming and you're not ready is huge. So again, like I've made mistakes like that in my life where you know I didn't think something was gonna come about and it came about, I'm like, shoot. I'm not ready for this, right? Like I could have been in better shape or I could have been stronger, um, faster. So I always tell the kids I coach, the members, people I coach outside, stay ready. Whatever you're trying to do, so if you're playing soccer and right now the pandemic hit, right? Corona, um, so all the seasons got canceled. It's not a time to go into shelter and you know, think, whoa, me, you know, my season got canceled. You want to be able to stay ready because some players, a lot of players, if you're looking to play at a higher level, fall season comes about, things are in full swing. You want to be ready. You want to be at your best. And that's why, that's not why I love soccer, but soccer is like an all around sport where you play all year round. So you got to be ready for all the whole season. So you wanna stay ready and not use this time of quarantine to come out weaker. So I said in one of my videos when I ran um, the four miles every 44 hours, um, the saddest thing is when, and this is, hasn't happened, this pandemic, but the saddest thing is people coming out of this weaker. You know, you have all this time to work on yourself, work on your family, um, so much free time to go outside and run, or some of you have treadmills inside, or weights inside, or body weight movements, whatever it is, this is like the perfect time to get in like good shape, if that was your goal. A lot of people will say, oh, well, you know, I don't have time to go to the gym, so I'm not in shape, okay? But now you have all the time in the world, and now it's like, oh, well, all the gyms are closed, so I can't get in shape. It's just frustrating. It's don't lean on just excuses. It's, and I say that because I've done it, right? In my past, if you ask people I play with, teammates I play with who are very good friends of mine today, they will tell you, Dino was the biggest complainer in the world. And I was, and it's like so much energy that was wasted of why are we doing this 5 a.m. workout? Why do we have to run these sprints? Why do we have to do this? Like, Dino, just shut up and just do it, right? So that's why I am the way I am today is because I look at my old self and I'm like, dude, I just complained for the dumbest things. Like, it was just so pointless, such wasted energy and breath. So when you, again, opportunity, man, like we have an opportunity to so have so much time to become better and yet so many people are becoming worse whether they're going into depression or you know, some people are having suicidal thoughts and things like that. It's just a sad time in the world, but you have to guard this. You have to guard your mind and you have, you only have yourself to hold yourself accountable to improve.
yeah, you can get motivation here, you can get motivation there, but remember, motivation is like fleeting. It's, it's very, mm, it can be lost like that. Gain like that, lost like that, right? So every day is different. Realize that you wake up a different person every day, right? And I learned that waking up at 3.30 in the morning, like, wow, like, why am I waking up at 3.30? Oh yeah, I gotta go run four miles again, right? So you're gonna wake up a different person, but you have to be driven toward your goals. Whatever your goals are, it, everyone's goals are different, write them down. So when that opportunity knocks, you're ready. And you don't have to have that fear like, ooh, like classes are starting up again, Orange Series in full blast, and I'm not ready, like I'm not in good shape right now. Okay, buckle down, get out of this pandemic, get out of this corona, faster, stronger, healthier up here, okay? Give me five, y'all.